Hello everyone. Uh, back to work on our guy with the uh, carrying a canoe. Uh, it's a Richard Butte project, and uh, been thinking about how to finish this up. We've got uh, off camera. I went in and created the carrying yoke and, and glued that in place with some super glue. There wasn't much to see there. Just a thin, thin piece of basswood and shaped it to fit around his shoulders and here and uh, got that part done and thinking about different things with this project and looking at the book and the pattern and uh, in the book you know they <clears throat> he gives a little background about this being a Adirondack guide and this is a his guide boat and Talks about the different things he'd be wearing and different aspects of the boat. Well, kind of all the way along through this series, I've been calling this a canoe instead of a guide boat. Just been uh, thinking about it and thinking about uh, my canoeing experiences in the past and everything. And and uh, basically, I've already made some variations from what uh, Richard had in the in his book uh, and that's fine you can take that project and do what you want with it uh, one thing I'm one change I'm gonna make um, in the book he has a couple of oars two oars and um, stored up in here inside the the boat and he also has some oar locks uh, attached to the outside here and here um, I've kind of Decided to go away from that, kind of sticking with the idea. Maybe this is just a, a canoe rather than a guide boat, and and uh, um, we're going to paint him a little bit different and things like that. And then um, instead of the oars, uh, just going to make a canoe paddle. This is just a rough cutout. I just sketched it on, on a piece of. On a piece of basswood, and, and I'm gonna shape that and finish that out, and just have one, and uh, go with that instead. Again, just a slight change, make it my own project. Um, then the other thing I want to do, uh, kind of thinking about in just in general how it's displayed. Um, we still gotta attach all this together, but. Um, in the in the book, he's got him stepping up on a on a dead fall log, and that's fine. We're gonna do that, but we're gonna also set that aside. We're going to uh, create a base to uh, finish out the display, so it's not just a not just the figure and the canoe and stepping on a log. We're going to have all that, but you know, it's kind of hard to see on here. But this is a piece of of uh, live edge basswood I picked up at Menards. Um, and I saw it there. I thought, well, that would make a pretty nice display base. Um, so that's what we're going to use. And it can kind of, it's, probably can't see it. I'll, I'll draw it on here a little bit darker. Um, I was thinking about this. I was thinking, well, there might be a path that this guy is walking on. We're going to have that here. This this um, rectangle, it's where we'll have the, the deadfall log where he's going to be. This will be a, a worn path that I'm going to uh, try to put a lot of detail on here, like uh, some, some ground texture and, and maybe even some grass. Uh, long grass around here and then my intention is to also include a river's edge or I suppose it could be a lake edge too. Let's draw this in here a little darker. Looks kind of goofy here but this once I get this to be three-dimensional we'll, we'll have a better 
hopefully it'll turn out better. Um, this is like the worn, th this uh, line going across here would be the edge of the river and or it could be a lake. Um, and this would be like a worn kind of eroded path down to the shoreline right here. That's why it kind of comes back up into the path, but they'll have that sloping down. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, I've never done it before, but I'm going to try my hand at using some epoxy and uh, actually simulate some water, simulate a riverbed, maybe or edge of a lake, and uh, put some epoxy in there and, and some detail and I hopefully have this be a real nice kind of a cutaway section of riverbank or shoreline. And uh, then when we're done, we'll have, of course, we'll have our guy coming down this trail and stepping over this deadfall. And uh, that's kind of what I've decided I want to do for the final display. Again, it's a little more involved quite a bit more involved and in, in more detailed than what was in the book and and I just kind of decided to to uh, run with it and make it my own and put it all together so that's kind of where we're headed um, for this video I'm, it's probably going to be a fairly short video and uh, we'll just shape up carve up this uh, canoe paddle my glove, I should be happy to know I patched my thumb guard. I'm <laughs> getting a hole and it wasn't doing much good. I'll get the glove on and, and uh, just start. Like I said, I just sketched, just sketched this, um, you know, whether you're drawing or carving, I guess it's it's been said that it's you know at least fifty percent observation or or just uh from your memory what you've seen and <clears throat> so I just kind of sketched out a canoe paddle as I know a canoe paddle to be, and uh we're just gonna go ahead and shape this up start rounding off the corners here I gotta come this direction on this curve. The grain, uh, cut it so the grain is running this direction. Hopefully that'll keep this from breaking. It's, uh, once it's carved, completed, it's going to be tucked up inside of the canoe and glued in place. So there's really not much of a chance of it breaking. It's just at risk while we're carving it, I guess. Uh, canoe paddles I've been familiar with they're they're uh, not round kind of like unlike an oar uh, they're kind of a flat shape and more of a hand grip at the top we'll just kind of Go about the business of rounding it out. Come here on the back side and clean that up. And the handle, we'll want to make that a little bit thicker here and, and then narrower, a little bit thinner right here where it connects to the rest of the handle. split from this direction just as I do with most things and clean up the saw marks and round the edges and at that point is kind of when I start looking at the final shape and what I have to do So 
It's this uh, paddle part. We want to thin that down, down towards the tip here. Be tapered this way, and then have a little bit of a an art shape. Not much. Trying to, I didn't mark a center line on this. It's not a very thick piece to begin with, but I was trying to eyeball it, work it in from both sides to keep it as straight as we can. Just trying to keep it symmetrical and as we round it, bring it down. Get some more of the saw marks off here. pencil here so I can I like this shape this side here this profile try to match that over here with some guidelines Gonna bring the this side down a little bit at the end. Get that taper to the center. part of the handle here is too thick. Little, little scoop cuts here right below the handle, the hand grip here. Just so we can keep an eye on. We, we know we want to make that a little thicker.
Again, this I've mentioned it before, but this is one of those it's kind of a small, delicate piece to be working on. I don't want to get too crazy and try to be too aggressive here. End up snapping the end of this off or something. And I'm not in any kind of a canoe paddle carving contest that I gotta finish this real quick. Okay. Turn that off. Okay. Now we'll bring the handle down. Same on this side. Well, <clears throat> the furnace quit running so I can talk again. Just kind of finishing this out here. Still need to work on the, the hand grip. Area. Haven't done much with that yet. I think the rest of it is looking all right. It's uh, this little edge here needs to be thinned down. Come at it from both sides here. Meet in the middle. And same with this one at the top. It's thick up here yet. Okay, kind of looks like a paddle anyway. It's a little longer here than it is on this side. But I think we're going to leave that alone. I think that um, represents a canoe paddle. And it looks like a Looks like it was carved out of a piece of wood, even. Okay, now, turn our attention to this top end. Do some rounding at first here. It's going to probably be kind of hard to see this. Try to hold it closer to the camera. Keep it in the frame. Get the saw marks off.
take a little gouge. Try to get that curve shape I'm looking for a little easier with this. I come in and do that on this side. I'm trying to go for a, like a thicker rounded end up here and then on either side um, kind of relieve that in here. This is actually a flex cut uh, gouge that I got in a kit. Bought a few flex cut knives or tools. It's pretty nice. Works good. Now, let's try to come in and round those, smooth out those edges from the gouge. Something like that. Point out here, take off. Just kind of going back around. There's a few sharper, sharper edges here where it's probably in a little bit of a hurry, taking too much of off and kind of. I don't know if you can see that or not, you can just barely shave in this to get these final little contours. Okay, probably a little thick up at the top here, but okay. I think we're, we're going to stop there. I kind of like that. It's hard to sh even show this. It's not very big. But there we go. We have a canoe paddle. Bit of a let's smooth this out a little bit. It's got a few little snags here and there. I'm not gonna do so much that we uh, lose our carving marks, but.
we go. We'll go ahead and call that a video. Um, probably the next step in this project that I'm going to, to tackle is the painting. And I don't know, I don't think I'm going to uh, record any of that. There's um, a lot of good videos out there about painting carvings. and Doug Linker really does a good job with that. And I try to use some of his practices and stuff. And uh, uh, like I said, there's other things that can show you how to do that. And um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to record that. But that's going to be my next step. Just going to kind of go through, make sure I'm happy with the final little details. and We'll get some paint on it. And, uh... Okay, here we have uh, just some images of what it's like after I have it painted. You can see on the bottom I showed some detail what it would be like if he ran his canoe on uh, on the shore a few times. You see the paddle in there and uh, just kind of giving you a look here we'll continue the video series with uh, building the base next and uh, but I just wanted to sh take a minute here and show you guys kind of where we're at after it's painted and assembled so um, I think at the end here I'll throw in a picture a close-up of his cigar also, um, it's kind of hard to see in this little clip. Um, then I can s I use the wood burner to detail some shoelaces on them. And you can see it turned out pretty good. See the paddle hanging out up in there. And, and uh, has a little bit of a shine to it yet the the uh, sealer I put on there isn't a hundred percent cured yet it's a little shiny still it should flatten out more uh, but yeah so we ended up with this cigar all right thanks for watching guys